Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Vitaly Kirchen, top firearm rights lawyer in Washington State. Today's video is about the Washington State Patrol Watch Report. I'm going to explain what it is, why you might want a copy of it, and I'll show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to order your report. It can be a little confusing, but I'll, I'll guide you through it. First, I'm going to provide an explanation of what the watch report is, and then I'll jump on my computer and walk you through the process of ordering your report. To begin, WATCH stands for Washington Access to Criminal History. This is a system maintained by the Washington State Patrol for the reporting of criminal history information. This system allows you to order a copy of your own criminal history report for $11, or you can even order a copy of someone else's report if you know their name and date of birth. There are a number of limitations to the watch report, which I'll go over now. First, the report will only show you criminal history that occurred in a Washington state court. The report will not show any history that may have occurred in federal court, in a state other than Washington, in tribal court, or in the military. Second, the report will only show criminal history for which the subject was fingerprinted. If the subject was not fingerprinted in connection with criminal charges, those charges would not appear on the watch report. That does not mean that the charges didn't occur. The watch report is an imperfect system and does not report all criminal history. There could be criminal history that exists but is not reported on the watch report, even if it occurred in a Washington state court. Third, only charges that resulted in a conviction will appear on the watch report. Charges that were dismissed will not appear. Note that a dismissal after a deferred sentence is considered a conviction and would appear on the watch report. Fourth, juvenile records that have been sealed would not appear on the watch report. There is a separate report that will show sealed juvenile records, but that is beyond the scope of this video. Finally, only criminal history is reported on the watch report. The report will not show the existence of active arrest warrants or protection orders. The watch report is useful if you want to review your own criminal history, but it will not show you everything. Still, ordering a copy and reviewing it is a good first step in, in evaluating your criminal history, particularly if you're trying to ascertain the status of your firearm rights. So, with that, I'm going to jump on my computer and show you how to order a copy of your report. To navigate to the WATCH website, open a browser window, go to the address bar, and type in watch.wsp.wa.gov. Alternatively, you can use a search engine to search for WSP WATCH. The first result will be the correct one. I will also leave the link in the description below. Once you're on the watch website, click the link in the middle of the page for establish a new credit card account. The next screen will ask you for some personal information. Type in your first name, last name, email address, physical or mailing address, zip code, phone number, username, and password. The box below the form explains certain parameters that your password must meet. When you're done with that, scroll all the way to the bottom and check the box that says, I have read and understand the important information above. Then click Submit. The system will automatically log you in and the next screen should look like this. Click Criminal History Search at the top. Here, type in your last name, first name, and date of birth. Gender is not required. If you've ever been known by a different name, be, be sure to also include that information. Click Add to Search Request at the bottom, and then click Search Now over on the right. The next screen will ask you for your payment information. The cost for the report is $11. Type in your credit card information, and then click Submit. The next screen will tell you that your transaction has been approved. Click the red Watch Inbox link. This will take you to your Watch Inbox, where you can view your report. The first column on the screen will say either exact match available, candidate list, or no record found. If it states no record found, that does not necessarily mean that you do not have a record. 
As I explained previously, this report will not show sealed juvenile records or records that occurred out of state in federal court, tribal court, or the military. If it states exact match available, click on those words and then on the SID column on the next page to view your report. At the bottom of the report, there's a button that says download as PDF. You can use that feature to save a copy of the report. If it states Canada list, click on those words and then find the row that pertains to you. If your name and date of birth are similar to someone else's, the system may generate multiple results. This does not mean that you have been the victim of identity theft. Click on the SID column for the correct result to view your report. If you need to access your report again in the future, you can come back to the watch site and log in with your username and password. Your report will be available in the watch inbox tab for one week. After a week, your report will move to the archive tab. It will remain in your archive tab for 60 days and then it will be purged from the system. That is why it's important to save a local copy of the report. That concludes this complete guide on how to find the watch website, how to create an account, how to order a copy of your criminal history, and how to access it, view it, and save it to your computer. I hope you found this video helpful. See you next time.